former chairman of the National Human Rights Commission, Professor Chidi Odinkalu, on Friday described the just concluded elections of the Nigerian Bar Association as a deeply flawed exercise. Olumide Akpata emerged the president-elect of the association in an electronic election, which ended at 11 p.m. on Thursday. Akpata, the only non-senior advocate of Nigeria among the three contenders for the association's president, defeated Babatunde Ajibade, senior advocate of Nigeria, who came second, and Dele Adeshino, a senior advocate of Nigeria also, who picked the rare position. Allegations of irregularities had trailed the voter register used for the election. Adeshino, in a petition to the electoral committee of the NBA in the middle of the election on Thursday called for the cancellation of the polls on the grounds of alleged questionable voters list. Odenkalu commended the candidates who contested various positions in the elections for their spirited campaigns but called the election a scandal. Joining us live now is a legal practitioner Libros Oshama to take a look at this. Good to have you Libros. My pleasure. Are you excited about the elections? That yes happen? I am. All right, so are you of the school of thought that it's flawed or you you agree completely? Uh, which is your position following yeah, what um, Carlo has said? Well, first and foremost, we should appreciate the fact that um, um, we're able to conduct an election without gathering in one place. Well, mm. if there are images that suggested, even Professor alluded to it. That no, what I'm saying is we all, we all voted via our phones and our okay. laptops. Not that we all gathered to vote in one place. There were no snatching of um, ballot boxes. boxes. There were no gunshots fired. Um, people can gather. Mm -hmm. um, campaign committees can gather. But all the voting, there was no physical voting. Okay. We should first and foremost appreciate that. And MBA, being a body of lawyers, should um they should fashion ways you know fundamental ways to move you know um country forward and this is one of such ways mm -hmm. of saying you know what we have blazed the trade people have been criticizing electronic voting and and so but we have seen that there were no thank god odin Carlo did not say that there were multiple voting or multiple thumb printing okay and no matter how perfect a system is there are definitely areas of improvement. Um, and then also, um, thank God also that as voting was going on, you could monitor results simultaneously. Interesting. Also, he didn't complain that, oh yes, you couldn't monitor results. This is an improvement of what happened two years before. You know, what happened two years before was the fact that you know there were complaints from those that also didn't win mm -hmm. but this is you know a far cry and they were improvement yeah there were some persons who were not accredited for one reason or the okay. other and then coupled with the fact that you know some network problems and the rest it's there are areas you can improve on but by and large there is no way anybody can say that the popular candidates didn't win mm -hmm. because i followed the campaign all true and then there's been this agitation from even people like professor Odi Kalu, and then also started by pa gomez of the lagos mba branch that it started from that this idea of wig and gown should be jettisoned and that this idea of um, the privileges of the silk the sunship should also be jettisoned because it's all it's creating a dichotomy mm. and then coupled with the letter written by one of the senior advocates Awumolo, that the uh, Akpata team were creating a division between the ranks of the senior advocate and the Not other lawyers a lot of young lawyers saw that as a challenge and and so these are some of the indices that worked for and against mm. in the election and like I said Definitely, no matter even in America election, there are patches of you know flawed process. But I expect that these are areas that should be clearly pointed out, mm -hmm. so that in the next election, because the end of one election cycle begins another one, right. so that you know the NBA can continue to look at these areas and take it a notch, a notch further. Like I said, this is an improvement from the one that happened before, before. and right. and so but to 
condemn the entire election as flawed, mm -hmm. I will not agree. You will not agree with that? Yes. All right, let's talk about um, the fact that um, Akpata is not a senior advocate of Nigeria and as a young person. Is that a statement? What I mean, him emerging as the president, what does that say to even the MBA generally? Yeah, this is not the first time that um, a non-senior advocate is emerging as um, the president. Uh, president, national president of the MBA. Um, there had been, um, I think, uh, Hirad Balugu. Um, she, she was a non senior advocate. I think that was around 1992, um, MBA in Port um, And then also, if you remember, there is no lawyer, whether junior or senior, that does not also remember the exploit of the great Alawa Kabashoro as uh, the chairman, the national president of the Nigerian Bar Association. Until date, the footprint left in the sand of time by Alawa Kabashon, who was not a senior advocate, mm -hmm. you know, had been so massive that other MBA subsequent chairmen had been, you know, uh, but finding it difficult to fill. Um, you, remember, you saw recently how the Chief Justice of the Federation was removed via an ex parte order. Mm -hmm. And what did the MBA do? The MBA was polarized and divided mm -hmm. because over time, MBA had not been able to put it out together. We also saw not too long ago how the president, right at the MBA National Conference, said, look, suspend the rule of law and allow you know, national interest True. to take preeminence, as if it is not the rule of law that determines you know, national interest. And the MBA were, you know, um, tongue in cheek, mm. they couldn't respond. So a lot of people also were angry. And then, as we speak now, the current national president of the NBA is facing trial, you know. And, and so some of these issues, a lot of young lawyers, you know, and some lawyers also who are not, you know, of the rank of silk, are also not too happy mm. with the state of the NBA as it is, you know, that some of us at some point had called out the Nigerian Bar Association to say, look, this is not the bar that we dreamt of or that we used to know. Mm -hmm. There's something need to be done. And then lastly, you find out that anytime there's allegation of bribery against a judge, there's always a senior advocate who is a conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. And then it's as if most of the fat briefs are taken over by the senior advocates. And it gets to a point where you get to court, your matter is number one, especially at the, high, um, the Court of Appeal and at the Supreme Court. And if you are not a senior advocate, sometimes your matter might not even get called mm. if you have a lot of senior advocates in court. So some of these things, you know, uh, the younger lawyers are not happy. And then when you talk about the remuneration of lawyers, that had been a big problem and challenge. And so when it's an, an opportunity for the no. younger lawyers to speak, with a loud voice, especially in favor of somebody who had consistently blazed the tree in innovation right. in as far as managing law practice is concerned. You know, Olumide Akpata presented a bigger opportunity for them. Okay. Um, for his law firm, you could say that these are law firms that have encouraged you know, young lawyers. They are upscale. They have also largely shown that you can make more money through commercial practices that law is not all about litigation right you know so for all of that a lot of people felt look even though some pe persons are saying since it's a bar association it should be all about litigation mm. but in the bar association you have the business law sections you have litigation section you have various sections right. so for so some persons you know it was an opportunity to rally around you know a candidate who was popular, though not a silk, mm -hmm. you know, against the precedent of, you know, a non-silk, the exploit, and then coupled with the antecedent of, you know, um, an Olumide Akpata. Yeah, okay. You know, and so for me, I, I felt, I had, um, I had friends who were in Ajibade's camp, I had friends who were um, with additional, but I felt, look, I, I agree more with an Olumide Akpata. And so I supported Olumide Akpata, mm -hmm. but I had my eyes on, you know, all other camps. And Olumide Akpata's camp was one other thing that worked favorably, you know. What's one other thing that worked, you know, in favor of the camp is the fact that you have a lot of younger lawyers 
who were internet savvy. Right. Hmm. So they right. could they could manipulate their their way through you know the processes. Why the older lawyers? I, I can tell you that in Nigeria you still have some lawyers who cannot use the laptop. Let's not go there, but uh, that's uh, that's something revealing that you have just said. I'm All telling right, you. Let's truly. talk. About, okay, I don't know what I should laugh about it, but well, it's unfortunate. Let's talk about this other part. Of, you know, these people, the, the section that feels that well, this election is flawed. You know, and it's not fair. What will be done to instill confidence in them, and of course, fairness in the system generally, even after this um, this period? Yeah, um, one thing that. But um, now the elections have come and gone. Mm -hmm. um, Olumide should also remember now that he's no longer the chairman of the business law section or the chairman of Olumide supporters of the MBA. He's not the, sorry, the president. He's not the national president of the MBA. There were promises made by him. There were manifestos. There were campaign promises which he remembered, he, which he had taken time, you know, to possibly go through, verified, before making such promises. There should be no room for excuses. And one of the promises also was improving the MBA elections. This is one of the ways you can also instill confidence mm -hmm. in the process in those that lost out. And then there should be, it shouldn't be a bazaar for all, but at the same time, it should, you should have a way of ensuring that you carry both the non-sick and the sick along, so that it doesn't look as if, okay, now that the MBA had been taken over by non-sick, then the sick will not be interested. But I know a lot of senior advocates also who supported Olumide Akwata right. because they felt, look, this is the man they have related with him. There were so many endorsements from so many senior advocates also. So I also believe that, you know, that's one of the ways he can carry everybody along and ensure that, you know, there is um, equity and fairness mm. in, and transparency in the activities of the bar. And then lastly, there's need for the bar to bring back that confidence that people, the ordinary man on the streets, yeah. used to you know, have in the MBA, in the body of lawyers. And when you do that, because there's been this, oh, lawyers are the problem of this country, um, the judiciary is the problem of this country, they don't want to help in fighting corruption. You know, there's need for the bar also to have you know, a way of ensuring that there's a, a, a relationship, but not a relationship of um, a master and servant. Right. A relationship of equals. Where the government goes wrong, they should be ready to call the government to order. And where the government you know, does well, they should also be ready to say, yes, this Please is them. commendable. Mm. And then another area is the fact that recently there's been these banters between security agencies, like especially the police, and lawyers. Correct. There should be, you know, opportunities for both parties. You have a lot of um, lawyers who are in the police. There should be opportunity and privileges for people, for both parties to sit down and find lasting solutions to the problem. Right. So when you do all of this, because these are some of the areas also where, you know, other members had, you know, also proposed improvement, mm -hmm. apart from welfare of lawyers and, you know, and so when you do all of this, you would naturally be, you know, carrying out the programs of almost all, you know, contestants. That will bring joy to, yeah, not so. all though, but at least 80%.